Yeah, you probably think your PC is pretty fast, huh? You fragging all those gamer boys and girls online. You, you, that's what you think? Well, Nvidia has something to say about that. They just unveiled the HDX2, a server platform with 16 GPUs for a combined 500 gigabytes of memory and two petaflops of compute power. The chips are all Tesla V100s linked using Nvidia's NV Switch interconnects, which allows them to essentially function as a single enormous graphics card. But you won't be plugging this in to play Fortnite. The system is geared towards companies that need to perform AI tasks in the cloud. Nvidia actually debuted the first machine to use the HDX2 platform back in March called the DGX2, but everyone assumed it just ran on pixie dust and some blessed fragments of Jensen Huang's leather jacket. It, it doesn't run on that, but I do, apparently. I knew it! That's exciting. What do you do when you make a game inspired by other games and movies, and then someone else makes a game inspired by you, but also inspired by those games and movies as well? Sue them. Yeah. Yep, after feigning tolerance of Fortnite's much more popular Battle Royale mode, PUBG Corporation has filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against Epic Games, saying Fortnite's core elements and user interface were very similar to PUBG. But one of the most identifiable things that differs between the two games are Fortnite's lack of vehicles. And a few days after the suit was filed, Epic added a vehicle to Battle Royale. A shopping cart. PUBG doesn't have shopping carts. I think that settles it. It's over. Do you guys think this is a smart move by PUBG Core? That's kind of a corp, PUBG Corp. That's kind of a rhetorical question, but let us know in the comments. Well, I thought I had shaken the hold that Pokemon Go had on me, but apparently it's time to reinstall. Nintendo has just revealed three new Pokemon games for the Switch. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are based on the original Pokemon Yellow with drastically updated graphics and capture mechanics similar to Pokemon Go, although trainer battles seem to use traditional rules. You'll be able to link your game to Pokemon Go and even use a Pokeball-shaped controller that doubles as a Pokemon Go Plus. The third game, Pokemon Quest is a free-to-play game for both Switch and mobile that adopts a bafflingly ugly blocky redesign. Hey, kids like Minecraft, right? Let's do like Pokemon Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Ah, God, kill it. It's Quick Bits time, brought to you by LTX 2018. No, that doesn't stand for Llama Training Experience. You like that one? I liked it. It's our sick meetup and tech event on July 14th at the Richmond Olympic Oval here in BC. You'll be able to do things like meet the team from Linus Media Group, do a blind cable management challenge with Cable Mod, have a show you how to delid your CPU, throw a PC case around for some reason, play VR things, compete in the iBuyPower LAN tournament, check out the 12K Ultra Wide Gaming Station, and that's only the tip of the tulip. Tickets are 35 bucks Canadian. So get them at the link below or at ltxexpo.com. Yeah! Yeah, James is excited. <laughs> he, I couldn't be more excited than VR He wants to meet you. German researchers brought up security issues with AMD's Epic server chips, but AMD has responded saying they're on the case and multiple analysts have pointed out you need administrator rights to actually exploit the issue. So that's kind of like saying someone hacked your computer when you left your Facebook logged in. So it's okay, all of our Epic chips that we have are safe. Don't worry about your epic server chips that you have. Yet another Tesla has collided with another vehicle, this time crashing into a stationary police car in California. Tesla, I feel like you should rename autopilot to something more sensible, like sucky autopilot, trademark. 6% of the time, works every time. There you go. If you're looking for a phone to fill the cheap but still good category left kind of vacant by OnePlus, Nokia has three. The 2.1, 3.1, and 5.1 are all priced at under 250 bucks US with decent specs and stock Android. Although whether you'll be able to find them in North America is questionable. Or if anyone in North America wants them. Oh, got him. Man, you're with the burns today. Researchers from the University of Michigan and Zhejiang University, I'm sorry, have demonstrated sound-based attacks that can cause hard drive and system crashes in PCs. You guys see? Words can hurt if they're set at ultrasonic frequencies. Did you, did you hear that? I think I just got heckled ultrasonically. <laughs> Whoa! It's Dolphin Man! Yes! And HP unveiled a number of gaming products this week, including the MindFrame gaming headset, which uses a thermoelectric device to shunt heat from the ear cups to the exterior, so your little precious ears stay frosty. It's like the opposite of earmuffs. 
Neat. Well, that's it for TechLink, everybody. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon, even though that might not do anything anymore. But you know, sometimes when we're down, going through the motions helps. You know. You're not even wearing pants. Ah! I well, technically that's true. I'm wearing shorts. See ya. <laughs>